today let us discuss about pair t test and how to calculate pair t test paired sample t test is sometimes called the dependent sample t test it is a parametric test used to compare means of two paired group the same persons measured before and after treatment for example you have given an intervention and you want to study the effectiveness of that particular intervention so you are comparing the before score and after score to know whether there was any significant change in the scores due to intervention so in this type of studies we use pair t test to find out whether the intervention given was effective or not by comparing the difference which has happened in the scores after the intervention on particular variable so the pair t test is done under the following assumptions that data are continuous and the data should follow a normal probability distribution so we are using parametric test pair t test is a parametric test let us see an example so here the pain score before and after the intervention on joint pain has been given test whether the intervention has significant effect to reduce the joint pain so the scores before intervention and after intervention is given there are 10 uh, numbers there are 10 in numbers and the level of significance is given and the question is 0.05% and the table value is also given it is 2.26 let us see the formula for pair t test pair t test is calculated by the formula d by s d by root of n where d bar means the mean of difference the difference means the difference of the pre test and the post test scores the standard deviation of the difference of the scores and n is the number of the sample so let us formulate the hypothesis before proceeding so here the null hypothesis will be there is no significant difference between the pre test and post test score but we can say the difference is zero the alternative hypothesis is there's a significant difference between the pre test and post test score it is not equal to zero the difference is not equal to zero so this is a formula to calculate standard deviation x is the value of each of the data x bar is the sample mean and n is the sample size so here in our problem we want to find the standard deviation of the difference d so we will write d instead of x so d minus d bar by n minus 1 root of sigma d minus d bar the whole square divided by n minus 1 will be the formula for calculation of sd of difference let us see in detail see the first column we have plotted all the pairs up to 1 to 10 up to 10 in the second column you will find the uh, values before interventions and the third column that is the values after interventions and d indicates the difference between the before value and after value so the first uh, row 9 minus 4 it is 5 similarly we have calculated the difference for each of this uh, rows and the total of this will come to about uh, 47 and the average is calculated as 4.7 47 divided by 10 you will get 4.7 and with this 4.7 we have deducted from each of the differences for example in the third column you will find that this 0.3 that means 5 minus 4.7 is 0.3 similarly for all the row, uh, co columns we have find it out the last column it is 4 4 minus 4.7 it is, is minus 0.7 and then in the next column we, we are going to find out d minus d the whole square d minus d the whole square so it is 0.09 is the square of 0.3 
uh, and uh, the square of 1.7 is 2.89 and similarly we have calculated and finally found out the summation of d minus d bar the whole square this indicates the 10.1 as the sigma d minus d bar the whole square so we have uh, uh, we got all the values for uh, calculating the sd and we are going to substitute these values in the problem while substituting d minus d bar the whole square uh, divided by n minus 1 the root uh, we got d sigma d minus d bar is 10.1 the root of 10.1 divided by n here is n uh, 10 n minus 1 is 9 so finally the root of 1.1 which will come to around 1.05 we can substitute all these values in the formula for t test and calculate it we get t as 14.15 so for pair t test the degree of freedom is n minus 1 so here the degree of freedom will be 9 so the 9 against 9 degree of freedom and 0 0.05 level of significance we have seen the value of Critical value is 2.26 so it's already given in the question itself at 0 0.05 level and the 9 degree of freedom critical value is 2.26 it's already given so here the calculated value that we got is 14.15 which is more than the table value that is 2.26 at 9 degree of freedom uh, and level of significance 0 0.05 so what we what we will do we will reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis so the calculated value or the test statistics is more than the critical value or the table value we reject the null hypothesis for favor of alternative hypothesis so in this example there is a significant difference between the pretest and post test scores and you can interpret that the intervention whatever is given was effective and it was it has made a significant change in the mean scores of the um, pain score so there is a significant difference between the pretest score and the post test score and you can say that the intervention you have given was effective in making a significant change in the pain levels the t value is usually noted as t9 is equal to 14.15 p less than 0 0.05 so hope that this pair t test is clear to you if any doubts you can ask in the uh, comment box thank you